What we're going to look at today is the natural gas gra gas chain. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because this is how gas furnaces were controlled many years ago. This uh, particular gas chain is probably about 45 years old. Uh, the newer ones uh, have all of the components placed in one small container. But this is kind of illustrative because I can tell you where, uh, where the gas goes and how it's controlled by looking at each of these individual parts. Now, here, this is my flame safety control. Now, this is simply a thermocouple here that, by temperature from a pilot light, it warms the thermocouple, which creates a small current, maximum about 30 millivolts, and that is transferred through this little button uh, to a, uh, a solenoid that has to be manually opened. Now when I push this button, that will allow gas through here over to a pilot light. I light the pilot, the thermocouple warms, and it will hold this solenoid open. By the way, a solenoid is just simply an electric valve. Uh, it provides enough power to hold it open. It won't pull it open, but it will hold it open. So if I uh, wanted to light the pilot on this thing, I would have to turn this valve to where it's parallel with the line, hold that down, light the pilot, and this would be my flame safety control. If I lost the pilot, then uh, this would drop out and close the gas uh, and keep it from getting any farther down the chain. So this would stop the gas right here. That's a flame safety control. I've got a manual valve here and I don't know if this is going to turn. Yeah, it does. Uh, if it's crossways of the line it's closed. If it's parallel with the line it's open. The next part here is a regulator. Now this takes gas at seven and a half inches or seven inches of water column and reduces it to whatever the manifold pressure should be. Most of these old boys ran about three and a half on their manifold pressure. If you look here, you can see this adjustment. So if I uh, needed to adjust this, then all I would have to do is crank this down. When you turn this thing clockwise you increase the pressure. Clockwise increases, counterclockwise decreases. So flame safety control, manual valve, uh, pressure regulator, and finally we have the solenoid. Now this is an electrically operated solenoid. It's also called a slow open slow close valve. I put power to these wires it warms a heater. Well, there's a heater right in there. If you can see that, there's actually mica and then there's little wires in there. And this heater heats up a bimetal plate right there. The bimetal plate will start to warp as it warms up. And it'll kind of just go up like that. And then it slowly comes back down. That's the way these things operated. They were pretty slow to start. They didn't start off right away. But this would kind of warp and then it would sort of pop open. But then it would slowly close until it got pretty close to the bottom. There's a little magnet down there that pulls it down. Uh, that's pretty much the operation of the gas chain. Uh, up until the uh, oh, mid-80s, I suppose. Uh, this was pretty much it. Uh, around the mid-80s we started getting uh, other flame safety controls. We'll discuss those later. But every gas furnace has to have this chain in some way, shape, or form. A flame safety control, a manual shutoff, a pressure regulator, and an electric solenoid. 
We'll talk about the uh, culmination gas control a little later and we'll show how all these parts were put into one container. That's it for now.